Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. In our previous video, we explored the process of registering an application with Microsoft Identity. Today we are going to create a Spring REST API and share slight insight on how to send email using Microsoft Graph APIs. So without further ado, let's jump right in. First, we will create a basic Spring Boot application with the help of Spring Initializer. Open start.spring.io in a web browser. Select project as Maven, language as Java, update project metadata, independencies add Spring Web, and click on generate. Once the project is downloaded successfully, extract the project files and move them to your desired location. Now open your favorite IDE and import the project files. After the project is loaded successfully, open the pom.xml file and add two additional dependencies required as part of this project. The first one is Microsoft Graph and the second one is Azure Identity. The next step is to open application.properties file and add the Spring Security Authorization attributes. To know how to create client ID, client secret and tenant ID, please refer our previous video where we explain how to register an application in Microsoft Identity. The link for the same will be provided in the description. Now create a class with name email request under package model add three attributes subject message recipient and add their corresponding getter and setter methods. We will be using this information as parameter while invoking the send email REST API request. Now create new class with name email service under package service add service annotation and two variables first one for client secret credential the second one for graphic service client fix all the imports Now we will fetch all the attributes that were defined in the application.properties using value annotation. Add a variable for logger. And fix the imports. Now create a new method for send email which receives email request as its parameter and this method in turn invokes two other methods the first one is initialize graph for app only authorization and the next one is send mail graph api in the initialize graph for app only authorization function we will create an instance of client secret credential once our credentials are validated by microsoft identity we will use that for getting an authorization token and using that authorization token we can create an instance of graph service client which further would be utilized for making the calls to various resources now that we have received the access to various mainframe resources let's create send mail graph api method which receives email request as its parameter in this method, we will create an message 
to which we will attach the subject set the email type as HTML and then attach the message to the email body add the recipient to the message and finally use the graph API calls to send the email with this we are done with the email service let's create a new class with name email controller under package web add the rest controller annotation and create request mapping to expose api slash email endpoint auto wire email service and add logger now add a method for post which will be used to send email this will receive email request as part of the request body and then we will invoke the send mail using the email service once the email is sent we will send the response back saying email sent successfully our development is done let's get started with testing run the project as spring boot application once the project is started successfully verify the port it's running in port 8080 open the postman create a new request of type post we'll use the url localhost 8080 api slash email slash send in the body we will pass the message the email request attributes which are subject message and recipient and click on send upon successful completion we will receive email sent successfully response let's check our email as we can see we have received email from no reply mailbox let's open and check and there you have it folks a slight insight on sending emails using Microsoft Graph APIs from your application. As always, if you found this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more insights. And hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and we will see you in the next video.